One of the tools that we have to take care of patients with COVID-19 are monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are proteins that are made in a laboratory that mimic the patient's own immune system. So when we give patients these antibodies, it helps prevent the disease from further spreading in their bodies. Monoclonal antibodies are used for patients who test positive for COVID-19, have symptoms, but are not ill enough to be hospitalized. They can be given as an injection under the skin or as an infusion into the vein. When we give patients with COVID-19 monoclonal antibodies, it reduces the chance that they will need to be hospitalized or receive further medical care, increasing the likelihood that they'll be able to recuperate at home. The Omicron variant has changed the monoclonal antibodies that we can use to treat our patients. We previously had three monoclonal antibodies that we could use to treat the Alpha variant and the Delta variant. However, Omicron is resistant to two of the monoclonal antibodies, leaving only one, citrovimab, available for us to use. With the number of patients infected with the Omicron variant increasing across the country, there's not enough citrovimab to treat all patients who qualify. We are following the guidelines from the National Institutes of Health, as well as the Virginia Department of Health, to determine who will receive the most benefit from the limited supply that we have. These guidelines limit use to patients who have tested positive for COVID-19 and are at the highest risk for progression to severe disease or hospitalization. This would include patients with immunocompromising conditions or patients on immunocompromising medications. Examples include individuals with depressed immune systems, either by medical condition or by medication therapy, those of older age, or those with chronic conditions that put them at a higher risk. Fortunately, the FDA recently authorized two new antiviral medications that can be taken orally. We expect these to be available in community pharmacies within the next two weeks. Like monoclonal antibodies, these drugs will increase the likelihood that you'll be able to recover from COVID at home. If you test positive for COVID and it's been less than 10 days since you started having symptoms, please contact your healthcare provider to see if you're eligible for either the monoclonal antibody therapy or the new oral antiviral therapies. Even with COVID treatments, COVID vaccination is still the best prevention against serious disease. It is not too late to receive a COVID vaccination, even if you've already been infected with COVID-19. If you've already received your initial vaccine series, get a booster.